What's going on guys, TKD123, back with you, and today we're going to talk about all the news that happened in the music industry today. Starting off here, we have Kanye West, now of course Kanye West, you know, is very loving of his music, loving of himself, and takes a lot of pride and care into his music creation. And obviously that also spans to how he actually develops and processes and creates the music, as well as you see here with this next story. So we've heard a lot of artists that go to crazy endeavors and crazy feats to get their kind of juices rolling with the creative process. Of making an album right and Kanye West here he has actually gone to not only extreme lengths but extreme heights as well currently right now he is atop a mountain in Wyoming that no one really knows where it's at we have kind of a general idea but the people at the site that kind of own and I guess kind of protect the mountain in a way or whatever or like they guard it in a way uh, they will never or you know not going to reveal uh, the actual location of Kanye West because they want to make sure that he does not break his mojo <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that's literally their words. And they said that he went up there to find his inspiration for his next album. And this clearly shows you guys the feats that this man is willing to take for his next project, which could be Trouble Graphic 16, it could be Cruel Summer, I mean, Cruel Winter, you know, whichever one, whichever opposite it was. But, you know, just however many, you know, because we did get that one rumor a few months ago that Kanye West is currently working on three albums right now. So it could be any of the three, you know, either Trouble Graphic 16, Cruel Winter, or the other one that you know is not said right now and also because of this he has since deleted all of his social media accounts like you cannot find him in, on Twitter on Instagram like he has completely wiped off of the face of the social media landscape of things so this is definitely something that he's taken seriously here and uh, it, what we have to expect is gonna be I, I assume great man like he's going to go to these lengths to do this album then there has to be nothing but greatness, right? I mean, you know. Next up, we have a quick story here, and that is coming from the, our very own Six God Drake here. And uh, he posted, you know, a few things on Instagram, something about like his cousin going to prom with him, whatever, stuff like that, and like her, you know, and like him taking her to prom, I guess, whatever. Not not like a date thing, but like as like a kind of like, escort thing. That was cool. But one that I found personally intriguing was this post here, where he, you know, is presumably at 40 Studio, and he said, "Visit 40 today." And a lot of people are saying that you know this could be, you know, in the more direction of he recorded music with him today that you know they are working on new music presumably for the summer who knows what this can mean maybe it's for feature work for uh, DJ Khaled's upcoming album or Bryson Tiller's album that we will talk about later in the episode but I just thought this was pretty cool to you know kind of just highlight here what do you guys think Drake's working on what do you guys think is happening here or do you think that, that you know that uh, this was just a nice cordial whatever meeting let me know in the comments below next up here of course Mother's Day was yesterday or from this recording two days ago I hope you all had a great Mother's Day I hope you all treated your mothers uh, nearly or not quite to the par as Ludacris just did. So Ludacris says that you know his mom has started a bunch of renovations to her house and stuff like that but she is not one to finish the job right like she just tends to you know just get caught up and you know just you know just get caught up in things and uh, she can't fully complete a renovation project within her house. So he decided to take the matter into his own hands and actually team up with a company called House with two Z's and uh, he actually got the house renovated for her completely. And this included her living room, dining room, kitchen and and office as well and the renovations look absolutely amazing you can look at before and after pics on the house's website you know officially and it is a great thing man so shout out to little Chris bro shout out to showing your mother that much love and uh, that was a cool thing to see as well next up here going back to Bryson Tiller we officially have the artwork title release date and everything we need to know about Bryson Tiller upcoming next album now we knew the album is called true the self and um, you know he released the artwork and like I'll be honest with you guys this artwork is hideous bro I do not like this artwork at all um, it looks like it's a part of a middle school project that I once did back in the day like it looks absolute garbage bro like, I, I don't even know how you can even pass this off as good in a way I don't I don't understand it I don't like it at all it looks it just looks looks so uh, like dude why like what, what like what are you doing with this but whatever we got that artwork whatever and then along with the release date we got is june 23rd so ladies and gentlemen we will get the album on june 23rd and uh definitely make sure to expect a review from yours truly we gather and stuff like that i would definitely be going into this album definitely reviewing it especially from the features that we've gotten here in the past few weeks that will be actually on the bryson tiller album along with that he also revealed three new songs something tells me and get mine featuring young thug so definitely be got some pretty good hits there i've not heard it personally 
personally because I'm not one to really kind of listen to songs that are not part of the album yet. Let's get the album first and I'll go through the entire album, you know, as it should have been. You know what I'm saying? I don't really like uh, listening to, you know, uh, you know, songs that are released prior to the album being released. That's just my personal preference, so I'm not going to be listening to them. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below about these three songs. Are they good? Are they bad? Let me know. Also, he released some sort of trailer for the album as well that's been floating around Twitter and stuff like that. I have not seen it again, but by all means, go ahead and go listen to that trailer. Go watch that trailer. I'm going to watch it here pretty soon after this episode, but uh, let me know again what you guys think about this. So overall, right, you know, just just, just looking at Bryson Tiller, right? So how I feel about him and how I feel like a lot of people feel about him is that just like, you know, that when you listen to Bryson Tiller, right, over kind of a course of maybe a week or so, at least for me personally, and I feel like for a lot of people that at least around my friend groups, uh, you know, uh, he just gets a little boring. You know what I'm saying? Like, he gets a little mundane. He kind of sounds the same on every single, tr not every single track, obviously, but, you know, for the majority of the tracks, for me personally, he just got a little bit boring, so that's why I kind of have listened to him in a few, in f honestly, a few months here, really. Like, it's been a while. So, uh, I just hope that, you know, this project doesn't sound as repetitive as mundane as kind of copy cut paste thing that you know we usually get from Bryson Tiller as of history you know as you know has been told so I really hope that he does something new here does something awesome and I hope it's a great album next up here last week we reported on Nicki Minaj having her good old you know, like charity uh, tweet extravaganza where she went on and asked people hey what is your student loan amount what is your student debt I will pay it off right now and so she paid off I think 10 people's student debt and loans it was a great thing but she is taking it to the next level as she said before she will do this again in a couple months prior stuff like that but more recently she said now that she will be actually starting her own official charity. Yes, you heard that right. Nicki Minaj will be officially launching her charity for you know student tuition, student loans, and all that coming here in the coming months. So pretty cool to hear that as well. Her actually doubling down on this whole endeavor and actually you know changing them last year. So definitely a uh, represent to Nicki Minaj. And the story I found funny here, this next one here, is that Travis Scott, the man, the myth, the legend, the ultimate you know freaking artist right now, uh, he has been arrested. So the story goes, he was performing in Arkansas and. Uh, it was a record setting night for him. He performed Goosebumps over 15 times that night. A Oh man, I can't wait to see him in concert. Oh my gosh. However, you know, great set. Following the set though, he was immediately put in handcuffs and arrested. He got charged for inciting a riot, endangering a minor, and also disorderly conduct. You know what I'm saying? And so he was arrested, you know, with all these things. And a few hours later, he was safely released from jail, thank God. But uh, I just thought that was pretty interesting because, you know, if you, you know, book Travis Scott, right, and you think that the crowd's gonna act cordial, I can, you know, is it, it, gonna act civil, is gonna act fine, um, you're you're really mistaken. Like it is, it is a Travis Scott concert. It is like going to like a Lil Wayne concert where things just get out of hand. Like, like things are gonna get crazy. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, you know, like do you blame the fan? Do you blame the artist? You know, it's all it's all gray area. And next up here in the dock, a quick thing here that is that Vince Staples has officially announced that he will be dropping an album in about three days from now. The album will be called Big Fish Theory, and then will drop at Friday at 12 a.m. So I'm pretty happy with this, you know, just because I have never really listened you know to a full Vince Staples project through and through and now it'll give me kind of the excuse to do so so I'm definitely hyped for that and I'll definitely be checking it out so make sure to look out on the channel for that review as well last thing you're talking about here is Chance the Rapper has messed up ladies and gentlemen uh you know Mr. Goodman Mr. Can Do No Wrong has fallen slightly from his high horse so what happened was there was a picture on Instagram right of some plus size models I believe and uh, you know they were posting uh you know with themselves topless and whatever and I guess there was a comment that said I vomited or something like that or like or like I just vomited whatever something like that and the chance the rapper liked that comment so I guess he was on Instagram whatever saw that comment thought it was funny and that he liked it so this obviously got a huge amount of people upset they got a huge amount of people that were completely you know distraught and mad at chance the rapper or something like that and he decided to respond in this tweet this isn't fake I accidentally liked an offensive comment on IG I apologize to anybody hurt by it and it does not reflect my character so that see right there it was obviously an accident that he's not mean to like the post apparently so everyone can calm down he's not a plus size woman hater he's accident over my thing here is that is that even if he did intentionally mean uh you know to like that comment right like maybe maybe you know let's just say in the alternate universe he just thought it was funny like maybe he thought it was a funny thing right of course it's offensive of course you know it's a negative comment of course it's a hateful comment obviously but you know 
is is being uh, like are are these people really distraught over that like are these people really really you know genuinely hurt over another person that they've never you know likely never met in person uh you know or know their character fully know who they are to a degree like are they really that distraught that you know he just laid a simple like on a comment that maybe he thought was amusing you know what i'm saying of course offensive we all like offensive things especially on like dude if you told me that you have not liked or like you know favorited an offensive thing on twitter before like dude you're lying right so like so i mean like to i, I don't know i just feel like there are bigger fish to fry in this world like there are bigger things to worry about than what someone else liked on a social media post that means you know literally nothing you know what i'm saying like that that comment was just as garbage as me posting a video with just black all over it like you know what i'm saying like it's just it it is just as meaningless. So like, are we really gonna put that much weight and that much really, you know, just negative connotations towards that? Like, are we really gonna do that? I don't know, that's just how I feel about it. Like, I, I just felt like, you know, there were bigger things to be distraught over in this world other than, you know, Chance Rapper liking a, you know, offensive, but somewhat you can twist it as an amusing comment. Like, you know, that's just how I feel. But that is all I got today. If you're trying to make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share in the below. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching, and as always, I got you.